Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow. It is the twenty-first. I was all mixed up on the bed, but over here I got the calendar right in front of my face. So, um, you can guess that <laughs> this holiday steam sale has started. <laughs> Yeah, at 12 pending gifts at this point, like, I do apologize people out there, but I cannot justify looking at trailers at this point, um, especially as today, my day today is a bit crunchy, so, uh, you know, it is not done with disrespect, and I will check things out uh, on my own time, but I just cannot justify making it a part of, oh, hey, I heard of this, cannot justify making it a part of, um, the actual video here. Sea of Stars related to that messenger game I play, right? Oh, uh, cow the cow the cow. Mary Julua, Julua, Mary Julua. And thank you for another year of fun videos. Here's a prequel to a game you played near the start of the year. Yeah, Vyapkini Jambinansky. Probably said that wrong. Belmore. Thank you, Belmore. Yeah, yeah, it's a prequel to the messenger. And apparently the mood is completely different, like it's not as jokey, I think, but it's also an RPG. Sea of Stars is a turn-based RPG inspired by the classic. So the sort of two children of the solstice will combine the powers with sun and moon to form Eclipse Magic, the only force capable of fending off the monstrous creation of the evil alchemist known as the Flashmancer. Gross. Yeah, so apparently that underwater level, uh, that's like near the end game in the messenger, yeah, apparently it's all just a big ol' like preview uh, for Sea of Stars, which is like like which is sort of like why that place just has this completely different tone in its cutscenes and stuff. This is why that is. Oh, I've heard about this. Anyway, Sea of Stars. Like I don't know if it's my genre, but I know that the makers can do like games that I like so. Number Q is all Merry Christmas. Have a game that was on my royal list. This is true. I remember this now. Enjoy. Whoops, I put my name there. Seven block. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You just you started with number. I didn't notice. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, this is from Number Q. <laughs> Friend Pedro's a violent ballet about friendship, imagination, one man struggle to obliterate anyone to path at the behest of a sentient banana. I mean, the description sounds exactly like the kind of game I would want. I remember seeing a little bit of footage of uh, my friend Pedro. Like, I remember it looking pretty neat. Uh, but, you know, the other games you proposed were also good. So it was like, well, you know, <laughs> what is going on here? Ours all like, when this released was rated as one of the worst games on Steam. Nine years since, and I'm glad people have decided this game is, in fact, better than Overwatch 2. <laughs> Thank you, Kip the Kip, for writing your name in letters so that I, I made sure not to accidentally uh, unpronounce it good. <laughs> Uriel's Chasm. Religious deep is okay. I need to see if there's a is there is there's a thing for this. This has me curious because I've never heard about this before. So I th think this is it. It's the same uh, maker, so I'm going to assume it's the right one. I'm not even sure how we got it. But then it. I remember a joke too, mate. Like it shows people with a weird like video filter. What? It ran? Uh... Okay. So the game is a Let's Play itself? Uh, metaphysical quest. Okay, and now... <laughs> it's a very, very cramped looking, like... Uh... Shooting game. But like, like not like a traditional shmup. Okay, but here it does get traditional shmup. I am digging whatever's going on art-wise here. Like, the sprite art is honestly... See, this art is a little bit less, but during the game, the sprite art is honestly pretty cool. Oh yeah, like, if this is actually how the game is, and it's cramped like that for no reason, I can see that being... Kind of a problem. 
And I guess also there are people on the other side of the video game. Which, uh, doesn't seem like a very... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't comment on themes and how it was done if I haven't actually played it. Like, I barely know anything about it. But that's just so... I love the sprite art! You know what? Yeah, I am gonna accept Uriel's Chasm. And this time it does this again. That is, I want to add to my library. It's so weird. Whoa. Why is it a Steam gift? Why is it like that? Oh, because there's multiple things. Okay, and then, okay, so Kip the Kip is back. Now featuring technical improvements. A classic to balance out the other opposite of classic gift. Look forward to seeing how the new UI deals with old gift. Yeah, right? Okay, well, I guess we've got to click accept GIF and just add to library, and then it's done. Yeah, so The Witcher, by the way. <laughs> I just kind of glanced over it. I mean, I think everyone knows what The Witcher is, right? I, I know what it is. But wait, so this is, like, the first The Witcher? Like, back when it was super jank? But this is enhanced, so it's probably a little bit better. It's, <laughs> it's like a character, like, action game, except you go around and, uh, you know... Yeah, that's that's I that's my description of The Witcher. It is very complete. <laughs> hey, Amya is back. Hi, Amya. Karao, are you bad enough, dude, to kidnap the princess? Final Fantasy IX was Square's attempt at returning to its roots after the last few games. Also, Vivi is here. This is the game that changed forever. The Black Mage. To not just be a black mage, but be Vivi now, forever. Selling over 5 million copies! That's a lot of copies. Turn to Steam. Now can relive the adventures of Zidane and his crew on PC. I've always kind of had trouble understanding Final Fantasy IX. There's just something about it. I don't know what it is, but there's just... Like, whenever people talk about, about, about Final Fantasy IX, there's something that doesn't stick to my brain uh like i kind of know the gist of it but very little because of that then neganote is back uh, ambush cow hi have two puzzle games for being cool well thank you one's a traditional first person puzzle game the other shows the pain of the field where i just got my masters huh okay neganote neganote Neganote, Neganote. So the Talos Principle I've heard of, I also know nothing about. I know, yeah, it's a first person, like, uh, puzzle game. Uh, but, like, that's all I know. Like, I don't think I've ever even seen, like, the, 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 the box art there, a robot holding a little kitten. Kitten seems a little stressed out, but not too much. Talos Principle is a first person puzzle game in the tradition of philosophical science fiction. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Okay, well, uh, I almost feel glad that uh, I'm not looking at trailers really today. Because I like keeping the Talos Principle, this, like, absurd sheer mystery in my brain, until I actually do play it. Okay, so that's in your field. A TIS-100. Oh, it's a Zachtronics game! I've never played one of those, but those are, like, programming games. The TS TIS-100 is an open-ended programming game by Zachtronics, the creator of Space Chem... Space Chem, maybe? And Infinite Factory, in which you rewrite corrupted code segments to repair the TIS-100 and unlocks its secret. It's the assembly language program game you never asked for! <laughs> That's pretty good. I bet it's... Super fascinating to play though. Like I bet it's something. Oh, what is going on here? What is going on here? But yeah, like Zach trying games like I've heard of those like the reputation Something I know about But oh man playing them just seems so scary a ninth day of Christmas uh, Declares S.A. Jewer you received some friends, huh? The Disappearing of Genzokyo. We got a bunch of classic toes there. The, the, uh, I forgot her name. The lady with the peach hat. Tenchi! Yeah, she looks really aggressive there. I mean, Cherno's got like an anger vein. I feel like it's Cherno, so it doesn't mean much. The Disappearance of Genzokyo is a Toho Project Dujin game from those 
my ACG studio, Chinese Dujin Game Fan Circle, we have reimagined Toho has an ARPG creating this Don Maku shooting ARPG. What does that mean? This, I might go for a trailer. Man, trailers are kind of long. Let's see how it does. This is not a trailer. This is someone opening their game file. <laughs> okay, but that's what they mean by character RPG. Uh, it's, um... Yeah, so you roam the land. You're like on a, like a, a Zelda-style map where you're above and things are happening. Except also it's Don Maku, so there's projectiles everywhere, and the footage is kind of blurry, but that just probably is YouTube. Okay, and yeah, and bosses do their thing. This looks pretty cool, actually. Like, this looks really rad. Uh... It looks possibly overwhelming. Like, I don't know if that's late game or early game or what. Like, there's just no way of knowing in a trailer. Uh, so possibly overwhelming, but I mean, like, the vibe I'm getting during these boss fights is very, um, fruity esque. Like, I don't know what are your movement options like, but, like, especially with that cone of attack there that's appearing. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, this looks really rad. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I looked it up because, wow, no, yeah. This is speaking to me in a way that I didn't really expect. Oh, it looks pretty nice. But also, this trailer is kind of long. I don't know, like, what else it's trying to say, but, like, the trailer footage is, is just... Here's a character in some weirdly slow fighting. Like, 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 when it showed the boss, I felt like I got it. Um, look, trailers are hard. Trailers are very hard to do. I don't think this is a good trailer, but I think it's hiding a very interesting looking game in, in underneath. So I'm gonna click accept. What? He's not done! Oh, it's DLC. Okay. So you can play as Sakuya, Koishi, or Suika. Well, alright. Okay. Well, now I understand why you would get, get that. Uh... We'll add those people to the game. It just says it adds them. I'm assuming it's to play, but for being real, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming. They could just be bosses, too, which would be significant in a game where bosses are a big deal. Rao, you gelled with Outer Wild, so I thought you would find this one fun, too. Thanks for a great year of laughs. Over and out. JR! The Forgotten City. The Forgotten City is a narrative-driven time loop adventure in ancient Rome. Discover the ruins of an ancient underground city, travel 2,000 years into the past, and unravel the mystery of who destroyed it by cleverly exploiting the powers of uh, to wind back time. Ooh, it's another it's a, it's a, it's a, it's another loop game, huh? Forgotten City. I don't know if I've heard of this one. Okay, I mean, yeah, like, the comparison to Outer Wild is going to automatically make me very interested. Outer Wild is just such a good game. <laughs> so, thank you for putting that in front of my eyes, JR. I appreciate it. Why is that a thing? That doesn't make any sense. It's for charity, says Fire. Back again. Yon Cass, the UK's most watched YouTube channel, runs an annual charity drive for the month of December. This year, they're teaming up with Sega and taking the drive to the next level in the race against the fastest hedgehog in the world. So I'm aware that Sonic All-Star Racing Transformers has super weird DLC, but Yon Cass, I mean, this means that the members of the Yon Cass now have a Ryu number. Which means that a significant amount of normal, regular people now have a Ryu number. That's... That's interesting to think about. <laughs> Nickel Fire went, no wonder I got so many. Uh, people just keep sending me, like, multiple things. Nickel Fire is a ganza because I couldn't give you Max Payne on the 6th, and then an explosion happened. El Paso elsewhere. I guess it's in the same style. Stakes, guns, and slow-mo. Fight werewolves and vampires in a reality-shifty motel. Dive through barricades to escape the grasp of evil puppets. Destroy the villain you loved. A new third-person love letter to classic shooters. Neo-noir never looked so good. El Paso elsewhere. Don't think I've heard of this one. 
but I'm going to politely decline looking at uh, trailer because time <laughs> this like this was only 12 games but like I want to say a few words of niceness and it just it adds right up El Paso elsewhere I'll be looking at that later but I mean the fact that you compare it to Max Payne I feel like says a lot but uh, thank you Megafire thank you JR thank you uh, Neganote SAJR Amya Anyone I might have forgotten, for which I apologize. Uh, wow. Like, just uh, kip the kip. Thank you. Like, just thank you, everyone. Like, this this was not necessary to do again. Like, I know it's it, part of the reason is the steam cell, but just having it all explode at once like that, it's like, it's like, oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, like thank you for real. Uh, I don't know how else to say it, but it's just it's so much, man. 